Seven days ago, I was attacked, I was scratched, I was marked by a demon in this massive haunted house. Before we get into the full explanation of everything that happened, I want you to watch the full clip right here. Okay, okay. Who's doing that? Who just opened that door? Oh my god, what is on my neck? Oh my god, what is on my neck? Ah, f that burns. Oh, I can't even see right now. Oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, oh my god, this hurts so bad. Ah, uh, getting out of here. If you want to watch the full clip or that full video of what happened that night to me in that haunted house, go over to my main channel, Yasko. I'll put it on screen right here or click the link down in the description below and uh, check it out because it was one of the most horrifying nights of my life. And I could easily say it was probably the most intense video on my channel of all time. So I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. I think something may have followed me home. And I also kind of wanted to give you an update about everything because I feel like a lot of videos go up on YouTube and then you kind of just left with a lot of questions. I kind of wanted to make this video to answer a lot of those questions you may have and talk about my experiences that night and to this day, right? Because I still have the gashes on my neck. They're fading, which is great. That's a great sign. However, it hurt. It, it really did hurt. This was something that genuinely scarred me. I, quite literally, I guess. But another big reason why I wanted to make this video that you're watching right now is because that night I was such a miserable mess. I was so negative to the camera, to just everything. That, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, I, I was alone. I didn't have anyone to confide in. And I was kind of just dealing with pain from my neck and a lot of fear for the rest of the home. And a lot of people are probably asking right now, Jazz, why don't you just leave when that happened? Well, guys, it was already late. And I was hours and hours and hours away from home. Uh, a couple of nights previous to that, I was filming and I tried driving in the middle of the night and I almost fell asleep driving. God, thank God I didn't crash the car. But I, I told myself from here on forward, I'm gonna try to stay the full night whenever I can, or at least until as much morning as I can before I start driving home. Regardless of the fact, I ended up leaving close to around four o'clock, four something in the morning this night. Anyways, but uh, while we do this video, I'm going to be firing up the Spear Talker just to see if we could get some responses as to anything that did follow me home. So really quick, um, if there's anybody here with me that would like to communicate with me in regards to the haunted mansion that I was just at, please come forward and let me know. Um, I will not be asking many questions, but I will have this here, this device right here that you can use to inform me of whatever you'd like. So there we go. Um, so let's talk about a couple of things, right? As an investigator, as just anybody who goes into like these haunted places, this is one thing that you always fear. You never think that it could happen to you until it does. Now, this isn't the first time something like this has happened to me. However, it's the first time where it really hurt this bad. And it really, really affected me personally because... I think more so because I was alone, right? And I was so scared of what to do. I ended up showering in this house because I, I thought a cold shower- Victorian. Analyze. Yep. Yeah, I'm analyzing everything right now. I don't know. Yes. So, I mean, I guess we could talk about this Victorian home a little bit too because uh, there was a lot of questions surrounding this house. Now, as far as I know, this house was built in the 1880s, right? So we're talking almost 150 years, right? In this 150 years, 
a lot of things happened. People lived here, people died here, an exorcism was performed. However, a lot of information was dug up and it was very faded or hard to read and that's all we know. We don't really know any names at all. <laughs> so I came in here with the hopes that I would figure out some information of the spirits that linger here, right? Now, even after all of this, this house sat abandoned for quite some time and it just kind of collected dust. A lot of people didn't even want to purchase this home when it was for sale on the market because of its haunted and crazy history. A lot of people felt like even when they walked past it on the street, they would feel this like negative aura that would kind of just throw them off. Some people would claim that they would see shadowy figures in the second floor windows and stuff like that. And, you know, that would throw anybody off until you get a skeptic which is exactly what happened when these two investors came in and decided to just purchase this house, did a walkthrough of it, and they did notice tons of handprints on every single uh, window and mirror in the house. However, this is one thing that everyone commented on when they did like a walkthrough during open house or just like a private walkthrough of the house to purchase it. And they genuinely just didn't believe in the paranormal. They said, you know what, we don't care. We see this as a money pit. They decided to buy it and dump a shit ton of money into this place. Now. I showed you a couple photos in the main channel video, but if you really look at those photos from Graveyard. That's 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 one question I actually had. We'll get into that in a second. Um, but if you look at those old photos, you wouldn't even recognize this place. I mean, hell, these people put a game room like with with uh, vintage like Pac-Man, Mortal Kombat and stuff in a hallway. You know, so these people really like wanted to sell this place and just like make a shit ton of money, which they're doing. I, I mean, it's definitely selling. And it's, you're going to see more and more paranormal investigators come to this place. So be prepared. Um, as they were renovating this house, they would experience really weird sounds and, you know, maybe see things in the corner of their eyes, but when they would look over, nothing. And, you know, they would start thinking that maybe they're just getting too tired from constantly renovating. And they would always try to figure out some, some excuse, trying to, like, debunk what, you know, they're experiencing. Oh, it's an old house. That's what we're hearing. Maybe it's the old pipes. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that, right? However, it wasn't until they went in to renovate the little kid's room when they experienced exactly what I did. They were both scratched, one on their neck, one on their lower back. And once this happened, this is when they completely shifted their ideology of the paranormal. They were like, you know what? The Communication. Maybe that was the way of communication for these spirits, kind of like to tell them to get the hell out of our house, stop. I, this is one thing I've, I've heard a lot from you guys in the comment section, but a lot of people are saying that when someone buys a house and, you know, let's say a spirit is there and has been there for a long time and then renovations get done, this could really upset the spirits that are there because maybe some spirits don't know that they've passed. They still think that they're living in that home to this day. And then some people are just coming in and tearing down their favorite wallpaper, or tearing down their favorite room, you know, and stuff like that. And it could really, really upset people and or spirits, that is. And, and that makes a lot of sense. And maybe when they got scratched, this was their sort of warning, right? And ever since then, they definitely believed in the paranormal. And they said since that night, it's almost like they started experiencing more and more paranormal things. Hey, over here. Hey, over here. One thing that they had a question about was, so in the backyard, there's a pretty big backyard and it's kind of just like flat. There's really nothing there. And they were speculating, is there a possibility that there was a graveyard there? They didn't want to go in now and just start digging up in the backyard because God forbid there is. No. Teenager. Now you really, really upset something. Was the person who was exercised a teenager? Can you clarify that for me? But yeah, so here's the thing. When I was in there, I get it. I was definitely pushing boundaries, you know, and I got a lot of comments on the main channel saying something like, oh, you know, you deserved it. You know, you kind of F around and you find out. And although I don't disagree, <clears throat> I don't think anyone should rightfully get hurt ever, you know, especially while investigating. Um, I did get a lot of leave get out on the spear box. And I kind of should have took that as my warning. So when they did scratch me, maybe that was kind of just like, hey, get the hell out of this room. This is my sacred room kind of thing. And uh, hey, I suffer the consequences. 
I tried to push through the rest of the night even with the scratches on my neck. Like I showed you later when I was in the bathroom, I had my shirt off, I was just trying to show you everything. I then took a cold shower, hoping that the cold shower would like cool my body off. However, while I was in the shower, my body felt warm. And even when I got out, I put like I had a towel over my neck for a while. It just genuinely felt like warm, like almost in the middle of warm and hot. That's how my neck felt. It was such a weird feeling. And it, it was very understanding, I think, of why I was so negative and miserable because I really. Yes, we are here. Well, that answers my first question. We're here, though. That means more than one. Okay, can you give me some names? Can If it says Lillian, I will shit my pants on this chair. That's one thing that um that we, we got was was Lillian on the the spear box. And when I asked Lillian if she could do this or do that, it was it was responding very, very, you know, frequently. Now, we gotta talk about a couple of things in this house, right? Um one place that I didn't even get to investigate because of, I didn't even get the time to was the basement. And supposedly the basement was a big place where the investors experienced a lot of paranormal activity as well after they got scratched, right? However, I just didn't get around to it. So I said in the main channel video, if the video gets 25,000 likes, I would go back. And I know how crazy that sounds. And I, I know it's weird considering I did get attacked there. However, this is something that I would never do alone again. And I'm going to definitely... Uh, Crying. If you guys hear anything, please let me know down in the comment section, by the way. Um, yeah, this is something that I would go in with a group to. So I'm going to reach out. I know Chris is uh, planning on coming back soon. Uh, we're planning on doing some more videos together. If I could maybe get like Chris and Ben to come with me, it is quite the drive. However, I feel like strength in numbers is a, is a really, really big, important thing here. And it's something that I would definitely want to not be alone for ever again. Sorry, I have the hiccups too, but um, if we think back to earlier on in the video, when I first was doing like a walk through the house, I stepped into the exorcism room, like where it happened, and the door closed on me. I then looked out the room, there was nothing there. However, it was really weird that it just shut on me like that, almost as if it was trying to trap me in there, but then later in the night, it was telling me to get out. So I, it was a little bit of a confusion, but right when the scratches happened, the door to like the little cubby room I was in opened up. It was opened up very, very, very slowly, and then that's when it happened. Now, I don't know if it was like a gradual thing where like it, it just got more, more painful, but the way it felt... Nancy. Nancy, okay, we got a name, and I don't believe we got that name when we were there. So, all right, Nancy, can you share some more information ab about yourself, please? Um, <clears throat> damn. Hold on one second, guys. Oh, dude, that's so weird. <laughs> I've had this problem at all today, and then all of a sudden... <clears throat> Feel. Yeah, it feels weird. Um, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Come on, Jess. It it was a very very painful feeling. It it almost felt like I could explain it in one certain way because I've actually I've had something like this happen. But once Jen was using her curling iron and she uh, went to go put it on the floor, and I didn't know that it was hot. You know, I, I genuinely thought like it's only hot when you press the button and that was it. But I went to like grab it by the, the end because it was like dangling off the end of the counter. And when I grabbed it like this, it, it was like an instant kind of burn. That's what it felt like on my neck. It almost felt like I was branded, right? Like marked. That's, that's why I call it like a mark. And um, shit, man, like <laughs> it, it's one of those situations where. It's scary, man. It, it really is. The, the more I like look back at it and think about it, it is so damn scary. I, um, I'm glad to be okay, obviously. I'm glad to be back and kind of feeling better. As you're going to see, there probably won't be a main channel video for, I don't know, four or five days. And I don't like doing that. I, I Why are you here? 
You guys know me, I, I try to upload every three to four days. If it ever gets to five, six, seven days, then you know that there's a reason for that. And I mean, it, it's looking like it's gonna be around that five day mark this time, which is understandable, I think, because of what happened and the circumstances surrounding it. I just genuinely don't wanna go alone again. On the bright side, Ben texted me this morning. I actually have it right here. He texted me saying, or when are we filming, bro? I'm, I'm ready. So he sent me that at 10.53 a.m. today. And you know what I said about Ben, he's a go-getter. A big reason why, everyone was asking me, like, why do I go alone some places? Uh, that last location, this one we're talking about in question today, the reason why I went there alone to begin with is because last time I went filming with Ben, he was attacked. Although it was a little bit different, he had a nosebleed and then he threw up. I didn't want to bring him again and put him in a uncomfortable situation. Because here's the thing about Ben. He's a go-getter. If I tell Ben, hey, let's go film. I have this location booked for the night. He will be like, okay, it doesn't matter what he's going through. He just genuinely wants to film, make you guys happy. It makes him happy, you know? So, yeah. Uh, trying to touch down on everything. Trying to make sure that I cover all the bases. I also want to take a quick second and say thank you to you guys. Because, you know, you support me, Ben, throughout everything. You know, and no matter what happens, you guys are always there showing your love and showing your support. And that's the number one thing for me. And I know everyone's always like, well, Jazz, you know, it's you. You know, you're the one who's going out to these locations. You're filming and doing this and doing that and editing and everything. But yeah, sure, that's, you know, important too. But your support is the foundation of this channel, the main channel and everything. You know, your support is the reason why we're able to do what we do. Your support is the reason why I'm able to support Ben when he comes to these locations with me. Your support is the reason why everything's working out the way it is, right? And I'm so ever grateful for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you forever and always. And, um, you know, th there's nothing that I can go through that I would ever say is not worth it when I see the support that you guys show for us. It, it, it's truly something that I could have never imagined. And, you know, I talk about it to, to everybody, like all the time. I was talking to my dad about it the other day. He's like, wow, look how well the video's doing after a day. And I, I just sit there, and I'm, I'm just like, it doesn't make sense, dad. I was like, it doesn't make sense. Like who would have thought me from this small city in, in upstate New York and, you know, would have so many amazing people like you guys supporting me. So I'm forever grateful and I'm, I'm always, always, giving my 100% just because of you guys. Just knowing that I have such an amazing support system behind me, that that's what pushes me, you know? And sure, you know, it, it, it fucking hurt when I got scratched. It, it hurt like hell. I'll be the first to admit it. It was one of the most painful things. And when I jerk my neck in a certain way, like it, it, it still hurts to this day. Uh, it, and it's been seven days, keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind, however, um, I, I just, I hate when you guys have to see me like that. I hate when you guys have to, you know, so I wanted to come on here and kind of just give you a little bit more of an explanation to everything, kind of talk about it a little bit more and, um, share some of the insights that I had before, during, and after, you know, so yeah, thank you once again, but also, if you guys have any haunted locations or know somebody who has a haunted location, like a haunted property, reach out to us and let us know because we would love to film there, you know, and I want to say thank you again to all of your messages and emails telling us to investigate your place, your friend's place, you know, your grandma's place, whatever it may be. Very, very grateful. Um, we genuinely have one of the most amazing communities on this planet, man. I'm so, so damn grateful. But apart from everything, be prepared because I have some pretty cool things lined up. Uh, I will say that in the next week or so, I won't have to worry about being alone because James will be in town. So we will be filming at some pretty crazy locations in New York, Vermont, Connecticut, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, obviously Ben will be joining us for that as well. So it'll be like the first time James and Ben have ever met, which I think will be pretty cool. And then to top it all off, uh, Chris will be back in town around that same time. So maybe we could do like this big thing. Um, but definitely expect some more videos with Chris. Hopefully, like, a huge main channel video. We did promise you guys we're going back to the Devil's Forest. So I think we're going to go back to the Devil's Forest. And then on top of that, um, I'm hoping that me and CJ are able to correlate our schedules because it's so damn hard. 
it's it's really difficult because you know between his businesses and my businesses and our schedules it's like impossible <laughs> to correlate it, it's really really difficult you know so we're trying our best but just know that we all appreciate you very much and um some pretty pretty crazy things are coming soon so once again thank you and um thank you for all your loving messages during these past couple of days when this did happen if i've been a little MIA, you know, haven't been very active on social media. I hope you understand. Kind of want to just relax and rest a little bit. And, um, yeah, with that being said, thank you. And thank you, Spears, for communicating me. I think you really hit her on the money that something may have followed me home. So I'm going to be taking the next steps in the procedure to get you the hell out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, love you guys. And um, if you haven't watched the full video where I was attacked, I was scratched, um, I highly recommend it. It was definitely the channel's most intense video of all time, for sure, but enjoy guys.